Hello everybody, this is the third video in our Swift tutorial series and today we're going to continue with control flow with loops. Now we're going to start off with for loops and we're going to progress as we go on. So let's start with for in loops. Okay. So I have a dictionary here. Let interesting num. And we're going to create a variable called largest. And we're going to set that to zero. Now we're going to create a for loop. So for kind and numbers because we have to check through the keys and the elements and in this case our elements are actually arrays for kind common numbers in interesting num we want to have it loop again for number in specifically our arrays being numbers and while it's looping through those arrays we want it to check to see if number is larger than largest because if it is we want to assign largest the value of number All right and then we're going to print line okay now this should work correctly we should get 25 as you can see, we did get 25, so this did work correctly. So that's how you use a for in loop. Basically, it creates variables and it loops through an array or dictionary. Now, with a dictionary, you have to have two variables so it can check through the keys and the elements. All right. Now, I wouldn't recommend using a for loop unless you have a lot of information about what you're looping through and what kind of variables you want to make. All right, now you can use a while loop to repeat a block code until the condition changes. Now you can either have that at the beginning or the end. So let's write one where the condition is at the beginning. So we have a variable n is equal to 2. And while n is less than 100, n is equal to n times 2. Now let's create another variable called m let's also set that to 2 and if we want the condition to be at the end we'll write do which is basically saying we want you to do this so do m times 2 while m is less than 100 okay and then we're going to print out n we're going to print out m okay so let's see what we get when we run this we get 128 which is correct and we get 128 for both so we can see these loops did the exact same thing it's just we changed around where the condition is now this is shorter but this might make a little more sense to the people reading it all right. Now we're going to continue on coming back to for loops. Okay, now usually you have the initialization of a variable and the condition and the incrementation when you come to for loops. You actually can do that in a different way here in Swift. So let's create a variable called first for loop. And we're going to set that equal to zero. Then we're going to create a for loop for i in 0 0.3. So this 0 0.3 is basically saying we want you to start at 0 and go to 3. Okay? We want you to add i. Okay? And then we're going to print out first for loop now we can do this like we usually would in any other language so let's create var second for loop set that also equal to zero create a for loop var for variable i is equal to zero as long as i is less than three 
plus plus i. Now, if you ever worked in C++, you could use i plus plus. That doesn't exist here, so all you have is plus plus i. How do I know that? I tried it and I got an error. <laughs> Second for loop plus equals 1. All right? Now, let's print out second for loop. Now, we should get 3 for both. All right? These worked correctly. They did the exact same thing. This may be easier to comprehend. All right? But I personally like this one because it's shorter. It takes less time to write. Now, if you want to include these two values, so say you wanted to include 0 and 3, you could also do this. You could add another period, and that would make it inclusive. Right now, before it was just doing 2 and 1. So it was just adding 2 and 1 to first for loop. But if you want to, you could add the other period and make it add 2, 1, and 3, because 0 is 0. You can't add 0 and get a new number. Right, and that would change. You get six instead of three. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. More to come later. Uh, I am leaving June eighth to go overseas, so I won't be uploading any videos. If I can upload videos, I will for sure. I'll be covering more Swift, but I'll make videos while I'm there, and I'll bring them back and upload them in bulk, so you guys can just be prepared for that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Rate, comment, subscribe, like, and favorite. I'll see you guys later.